Hi, welcome to our innovation. In this channel, 8th Science, Unit 3 Light Book Evaluation. Textbook exercise, Roman letter 1, choose the best answer. Which of the following has curved reflecting surface? Answer is spherical mirrors. The spherical mirror with a reflecting surface curved inward is called concave mirror. The spherical mirror used as a rear view mirror in the vehicle is convex mirror. The imaginary lines passing through the center of Curvature and the pole of a spherical mirror is called principal axis. The distance from the pole to the focus is called focal length. If the image and the object distance is same, then the object is placed at C. The focal length of the spherical mirror is 10 cm. What is the value of its radius of the curvature? Answer is 20 cm. Fill in the blanks. The spherical mirror used in a beauty parlor as a makeup mirror is called concave mirror. So, answer on the concave mirror. Geometric center of the spherical mirror is pole. Nature of the images formed by a convex mirror is virtual, erect, and diminished. The mirror used by the ophthalmologist to examine the eye is concave mirror. If the angle of the incidence in 45 degree, then the angle of the reflection is also 45 degree. If an object is placed between two mirrors which are parallel to each other, the number of images formed is infinite. For answer briefly, define focal length. Page number 24. Focal length, the distance between the pole and the principal focus is called focal length that is F of spherical mirror. So, pole is principal focus and the distance the focal length. Okay, mark it from here. Give any two applications of a concave and convex mirror. Applications of curved mirror and applications of convex mirror. Okay, so concave mirror la four applications Any two applications you can write. This is two points and convex mirror in the two points state the loss of reflection the loss of reflection here you have to write this point the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in a same plane so this is one law the other law is the angle of the incidence and the angle of the reflection are always equal so the explanation is given so diagram inge irukka reflection of light adu keta neenga draw panikonga or else in the two points mattu eduthikalam this is the third answer define refractive index of a medium page number 30 the amount of refraction of a light in a medium is denoted by a term known as refractive index of the medium which is the ratio of the speed of light in the air to the speed of light in that particular medium. So mark it from here in the whole point. Mark it till here. Fifth question states Snell's law of refraction. Page number 31. Here the Snell's law. The first refraction. The incident ray, the refractor ray and the normal at the point of intersection all lie in the same plane. The ratio of the sin of the angle incidence to the sin of the angle of refraction is equal to the refractive index of the medium which is constant. So you have to write this two laws. In the two laws, two points are the comma. Roma letter 5 answer in detail. Explain the images formed by the concave mirror. Page number 25. Here the tabla column is given. So in the tabla column full images formed by a concave mirror. This is the first detail. What is reflection? Write a short note on regular and irregular reflection. 
page number 26 what is reflection inga the mark panikonga so mark it from here until end of this this is the definition heading one the reflection heading put in the in the points note panikonga mark it from here till end of this from the regular reflection heading put you have to mark this whole paragraph and later you want to write irregular reflection this whole paragraph till end of here so you have to finish up to here explain the working of periscope page number 29 under the heading periscope so you have to write this whole paragraph along with this diagram in the diagram drop okay so this is the third detail mark it from here until end of this along with this diagram what is dispersion explain in detail Page number 31, this is the fourth detail. From here, you have to write this paragraph. So, why does dispersion occur? So, in the point, the question, again mark. complete. Okay, this is the fourth detail. Now, we have completed the third unit light book evaluation. We will in the video. We will in the video. Our innovation channel, you can subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Thank you. Have a nice day.